everybody, this is Monty with Flowers by the Bunch. I hope you are having a wonderful afternoon. So today I'm going to make a quick arrangement in all green flowers. We'll have a few white, but mostly green. Um, and this is for an order to go out. So we're going to get started. Um, I have, I'm starting with a rosy posy vase, one of our favorite vases here at the flower shop. And I am going to start with some hydrangeas. Now these hydrangeas are white hydrangeas because I don't happen to have any green ones in. But we are going to use these as our base. So I'm gonna take my knife and I'm cutting that stem at an angle and I'm tucking that right into that vase. I have a second white hydrangea and I'm removing all of the foliage so that the head of my flower will stay hydrated. Oh, and will you grab me that garbage can, please, sir? So I don't throw it all in the floor. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right, so I'm cutting that stem at an angle with my knife and just setting it right on the lip of that um, base. Next, I'm gonna come in with some really pretty green cremones. These are in the mom family, but look how fun and pretty that, that bright green is. So I'm gonna take my stems of cremones and I'm just tucking them right into those hydrangeas. And I'm using those hydrangeas as a grid. Cremones are very long lasting mums, and they're a single headed mum. Um, they're just pretty and bright. Cremones come in lots of colors, um, green being one of them, yellows, whites, lavenders. Um, really pretty flowers to me. Um, then I'm going to come in with some pretty green roses, and I'm going to remove all of the foliage that might fall below the water line. Cut them at an angle and tuck them right in. Remove any petals that might have any bumps or bruises. But these green roses are so pretty. And almost if you didn't know it, they almost come off like an ivory or kind of a, an off colored white. But I really like them in this mixed green arrangement. I'm gonna move this one cremone because I kind of got him. Okay. Next I'm gonna come in with some green button daisies. So look at how pretty these green daisies are. We call them Kermits but they're just a pretty little green button mom. And they're in the chrysanthemum family, just like the cremones are. So they're long lasting and they're just happy little button flowers. So I'm taking a pair of snips or scissors. I'm gonna cut it in two different pieces because it's just big. So I'm gonna use it in two separate um, pieces. So we get a little more for our money. And I always like to use a pair of snips or a pair of scissors to cut it apart because my knife is just gonna damage all the other flowers. So that's the reason I used a pair of scissors. And see how, what I would say may be clumpy. See how it's just kind of clumped together? So if I take it and cut it in two pieces, then I have two separate flowers or two separate, separate insertions into my arrangement. But look how green they are. They're so pretty. I said something to someone um, today about using some green flowers in an arrangement. I never even knew there were green flowers. And I said, oh, yes, green flowers are wonderful. Okay, so there's our green buttons, our green roses, our green cremones. Next, I'm going to come in with green trick dianthus. Dianthus is the family of carnations, and green trick just happens to be in the dianthus family. 
So they are in the carnation family. And if you look at them close, they have the stem of a carnation, but they're so much fun. They're a lot more fun than a carnation. I do like carnations personally, but these are sure fun little flowers. They remind me of Dr. Seuss, like little Dr. Seuss trees. So I'm just removing any foliage that might fall below that water line. I'm cutting it, my stem at an angle, and I'm just tucking it right into that base. So look how fun those little hairy flowers are. Next, I'm gonna come in with some greenery. So the greenery I chose, I have a little bit of pitosporum. I don't know, I don't love that green with it, so I'm not gonna use the pit, but I am gonna use some eucalyptus. So I have both seeded eucalyptus and baby blue eucalyptus. So I am going to take my scissors and cut that stem of eucalyptus. You can use um, good snips, you can use your knife. So look how fun those little spiral eucalyptus is. It smells good too. It's perfect to hang in your shower. If you ever wanted to kind of have your shower um, be more like a spa experience, take a handful of eucalyptus, this spiral eucalyptus, and hang it from your shower head in your shower. And every time you turn on that hot water, it kind of steams and it gives you the um, smell of the eucalyptus. So nice. And it makes your shower look pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna take my eucalyptus and I am just going to, I'm gonna cut that in two separate pieces. I'm gonna just take it and tuck it right on the lip of my vase. And so what it's doing, it's just kind of ringing, going all the way around this arrangement. And look how pretty that eucalyptus looks. I like the color of eucalyptus, but I like the way it kind of makes makes the arrangement kind of a whimsy, pretty feel. Let's put another little piece on this side. All right. There you have it. There is our pretty all green arrangement. We've got green roses, green cremones, green buttons, and green trick with some white hydrangeas tucked at the base. Guys, thank you so much for being here with us today. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon. If you would, please subscribe to our channel so that you can see other videos from us. And there's a little bell right down below. If you click on that, you'll get, um, you'll get notifications. Guys, y'all have a great day. We'll see you real soon.